I would like to mention that uh, not only am I an architect, but I'm a moviegoer. I attend movies with my wife. My wife has strong opinions about most things, including movie theaters. She's not in attendance, so I can talk about her all I want. But enough about introductions. I know when I attend seminars, I want to learn something new. So when I was asked to address this topic of designing the future of exhibition, architecturally speaking, I thought this is a tall order, but actually, we think about this all the time. We're passionate about the cinema industry, we're passionate about design, our clients demand it. Our clients see us at all the trade shows, and the first question that they always ask us is two words, what's new? So I will touch on some of these fresh concepts that will make you think. So what is a new concept and what is right? Well, it varies. We've traveled around the world. We've seen how different exhibitors come to different conclusions. What is right for one exhibitor or one market isn't right for another exhibitor or market. For example, this rooftop cinema. It's bold. It adds an additional screen to your complex in a dense urban area. It adds a bold feature an experience to your cinema that differentiates you from your competitor. However, it is not well received in Russia. It's too cold there. They have white nights. They wouldn't get much use out of this. But entertainment is entertainment, and it spans boundaries and continents, and exhibitors are fighting for my entertainment dollar. So what we hear exhibitors asking us is, help us different ways to upsell the movie-going patron. So let's talk briefly about some of those ways and uh, which ways are currently popular. In auditorium dining. Each exhibitor views different ways to operate this. Here's one way. However, our clients have asked us to consider many ways. From live entertainment style with booths and movable tables and chairs, to many varieties of VIP seats, recliners with fixed tables, love seats with built-in tables, Swivel tables, center tables, soft seating, banquet style seating, and fixed front tables. Besides these, you can think of other operational choices. Upsell with the premium seat. It's better than at home. Once the, the patron tries it, they're hooked. For example, it's the only way my wife will watch a movie. I never knew that sitting for two hours caused her such excruciating pain in her knee. So for an extra $5, we sit in the recliners, and no complaint. We drive past two other cinemas to get to those recliners. It's true. The premium seat can be many things. You can buy a multitude of wonderful products from a seating vendor or consider something that is a real differentiator. Maybe it's for a private arrangement or a group. Upsell with large format presentations. It's immersive, like IMAX, normally has enhanced sound. You show your blockbuster movie, 3D releases, there's a demand, you charge more money. It pays for itself. But as architects, we're cursed. We're always trying to make something better. When thinking about designing the future of exhibition, we, we tend to think about how does the architecture connect to your customer? And how can the exhibitor make more money? We find that your patron wants to be entertained by the movie itself. This may seem obvious, but functionally, the auditorium must be laid out for state-of-the-art projection sound, great screen and sound presentation, and proportionally, uh, and proportion to the room. We also find that your patron wants to be impressed. Do people talk about your facility? My wife tells everybody about that fabulous movie theater that she goes to. We're always trying to create a destination worth going to. And we find that your patron wants to socialize. Does your facility bring friends together? You don't want your patron socializing inside the auditorium. Give them opportunities outside the auditorium to hang out for gaming, seating, bars, coffee, opportunities to spend more money. So with the idea of upselling and connecting to your patron, what are some of the architectural, outside-the-box ways of thinking? Because design changes as needs change. 
Digital projection has allowed exhibitors to use their imagination to create more opportunity to generate more revenue. For example, alternative content. There are many forms of content that have very different audiences. Consider this convertible auditory. On the left, you see a traditional setup for a movie audience. In the same auditorium, on the right, after folding down seats, sliding in a few seating rows, you can create larger platforms that can have seating setups for a specific audience. Maybe you set up soft seating for an opera, or as in this example, community type seating for a sporting event or music concerts. Everyone talks about an immersive movie going experience. What if you need to squeeze one more screen into your facility and wanted something special and cost effective? Using recliner seats, which my wife likes, you can create a special immersive experience in a small space on a flat floor where the screen angle is optimized for recliners. This room can also be fitted with an exclusive VIP viewing area above with another special type of seating. A view from your recliner might look like this. And there's even a way to efficiently stack these auditoriums on level floors if you're in a multi-level shopping center while still addressing technical engineering and utilities. Speaking of stacking, consider three floors and three audiences. Take advantage of the massive volume in a large format auditorium due to the screen height. Below, you have general admission seating, a mid-level for projection and premium club-type seating, plus a balcony with premium seating. You can visualize how to connect a lounge to adjacent auditoriums to either inter intermediate level or the balcony level. The lounge idea can create the potential for an exciting and lively atrium space outside of the auditorium. This stacked auditorium allows customers to socialize and enjoy the cinema in a range of settings. There are three plus revenue streams for each show. And finally, we've been told by our clients that they get complaints about patrons texting during the movie and the distraction that it causes. By the way, my wife is an offender. She absolutely feels like she needs to return that text or it loses its value. Many exhibitors realize that there is a client base of these text offenders. Consider embracing them all in one place. Thus, the idea of a separated audience with a backup plan. In the upper area of this separated auditorium is the traditional movie theater seating, and below is a much different seating arrangement. The view from the traditional seating above might look like this, and below for the more interactive patron, it might look like this. You can consider many different seating arrangements below, and it could even include a bar. The lower interactive area, if just in case it doesn't work for you, there's a backup plan, where you can easily infill the seating platforms to have a fully traditional auditorium. In all, the exhibitors continue to challenge us. There is so much competition, and they are looking for distinctive designs. They are looking for innovation and unique design. The concepts we're thinking about daily for the future of exhibition, they're well received by our clients. Oftentimes we see that parts or pieces of a concept are latched onto them. They, uh, those parts and pieces get customized and they evolve into something that becomes unique to that client. Feel free to stop by our booth at the trade show and we'll gladly talk to you about our next round of outside the box thinking.